was the worst traffic I'd ever seen. I couldn't believe it. And anyway, eventually the taxi driver said that he would be faster if he got off the exit ramp and drove me all the way back to Port Charles rather than go to the airport. Yeah, I can believe that. You know, I don't know how people deal with that congestion day after day. I know, it's awful. Anyway, so he brought me back here to the apartment and that's why I couldn't be with you last night. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But listen, well, since you're there, why don't I come down and we could have dinner somewhere special? No. Um, I really want to come back to Port Charles tonight. Besides, I don't have any more clothes left for here. Well, come on, that's no problem. I'll just pack some of yours with mine. Tell me you like and I'll pick it up for you. Mm, I'd rather not. Um, by the time you get here, it'll be so late. Why don't you just finish the work that you're doing there and then the two of us will come down here later on during the week? All right, then. You win. I'll try to get to the airport tonight before Russia. I don't want to say anything to happen again. Good afternoon. Who's that? Olivia. Oh. Send her my regards. I'll see you later, then. It's better that she's there than here in New York. I suppose. I'd be glad to. Um, any messages? No, no need. Um, she'll, I'm sure, want to see me. Just tell her that I'm in. All right. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Hi Lucy. They're starting the interviews for your new position this afternoon. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think there's some pretty impressive resumes. Oh, well, just so long as they pass the all-important Count Dracula test. The what? You know, get, send me the ones that aren't bothered by... Warm, rich, nice red blood. Oh, Walt, give me a break. Well, it's just oh, a joke. Oh, just the person I wanted to see. Yeah. Listen, Walt, uh, I want to have a meeting with you in the next few days to discuss operations and procedures, that sort of thing. So, um, when my secretary calls, will you please give it priority? No problem. You know where to find me. Not always, but we'll work on that. What the hell do you mean by that? I never would have guessed there could be that many people named Butcher. Look what we got here. We got, we got Alonzo Butcher, we got Douglas Butcher, Samuel Butcher. We even got Butcher Butcher. <laughs> hey, maybe it's his alias. Hmm. Let's have a look how we go here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Aha. Okay. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Look at this. Patel, Brinkley, Bolinsky, Garcia. Now, these are all heavyweight hard timers. And they all have the alias I Am Butcher. Cute, huh? You get that I'll get it, yeah. Fisher Scorpio's office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on a second. Scorpio. We then have your very own personal butcher. You mean the royal butcher? I don't mean a candlestick maker, come on. Maybe he misses me. Scorpio here. How's it going, Kamish? What do you want, Butcher? Well, I, I just wanted to let you know I'm still around. I wouldn't want you to think I uh, slipped town or anything. Just get to the point. Well, to be honest, Commissioner, I'm kind of disappointed in you. You know, at first I was kind of flattered, you know, having the head honcho chasing me and all that, you know. But, gee, you're not doing much of, of a good job, are you? Yeah, well, I don't uh, plan to be chasing you for very long, Butch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about you, Commissioner Scorpio. You, you stick to it in this. Uh, what, what was it the papers called you during that uh, snowman chase? Uh, tenacious, yeah, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you was chasing Grant Putnam around the snow and all that? I don't think I'm uh, going to have to take that long to nail a small-time piece of trash like you. Small-time? Hey, look, pal. I'm running circles around what Putnam did to you, right? You're out of your league, Butcher. Yeah? Well, I'm still way ahead of you, big man. 
You're not even close enough to make the race exciting. Well, maybe I'll just have to do something about that. I mean, I wouldn't want you sitting out there dying of boredom now, would I? Hey, uh, Kamish, maybe you ought to check with your pal there. You know, the guy that the paper said really found Putnam for you? Ask him for some help. What's his name, uh, uh Lavery? Maybe I will. You know, Butch, some of our people are, uh, how can I put it? Well, they're impressed with your skills. They, uh, they really like to know some of the details about that. That, uh, device you used, uh... Yeah, well, I don't have time to talk about it now, big way. But nice try, though. <laughs> you know, I'll say, I, according to my watch, I don't have much time yet. I don't want you to trace this call. Bye-bye. Damn it. Mister. Yeah. This guy obviously has a rough idea how long it takes to put in a trace. But more than that, it's starting to get to me. This guy is only mousing with us. He's, he's, he's playing with us. He obviously has an idea of how sensitive I am about being laughed at. It must be very important to him, because I don't care how good his timing is, he took a hell of a chance calling you here. Yeah, he did, didn't he? You know, you know, guys, sometimes your deductive skills truly amaze me. You may just be a genius in there. I, I know I'm a genius, I know that, but what did I say? Sit down. Listen. You know what the arson people said after they went through the brownstone? That the, the work that they'd done over there was bordered on genius. They said it was some of the best stuff they'd ever seen done. Then we had that, that, that malarkey over at uh, the hospital. Another highly professional job. Okay, but we've already run every single list of the incendiary experts that we have. Ah, oh, you're missing the point. He's calling me up. He's making a big fella out of himself. Full of confidence and all that. Right? Yeah. What's another way a person like this is, is going to reinforce his manhood? Hmm? The obvious, women. Right. Our boy Butch probably fancies himself as a real pistol with the ladies. Get Sam in here, will you? I've got a gut feeling this guy's going to call back. When he does, I want to be ready for him. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Audrey. Oh, um, Lucy Jones would like you to know that she's in her office if you need her. Oh, good. I want to see her about the arts festival. Thank you. Okay. Security officer, really. Oh, oh, hi, Audrey. Yeah, I was just about to go by your office. Oh, well, then I'm very glad I ran into you. I just had to go down to the daycare center and take care of a few things. Are we still on for this afternoon? Well, it may be just you and me and Amanda, because uh, Lila can't make it, and uh, Irma may or may not be able to make it, depending on a meeting. Okay, well, that's fine. Do you still want to use my office? If it's not too inconvenient. Oh, no, Audrey, it's always very convenient for the Arts Festival Committee. And listen, if you ever need to use it for anything, just let me know. Um, see this afternoon. Yes, you are, dear. Thank you. Hi, Audrey. Oh, hello, Alan. What news from Steve? Enjoying the conference? Well, you know him, always grumbling about... Uh, how these medical conventions are more for the young blades. Yes. But he did ask about you. Any problems? No, no problems, no worries. Everything is just going along great. Tell him that the place is running perfectly. A taut ship is a happy ship. <laughs> Ooh, it's almost time for my pictures to be ready. I think Mr. Butcher and Scott make an awfully photogenic couple. Hmm. I can't figure out who that blonde could have been with Butcher in the Park, though. Well, I don't really have time to worry about that now. I have just enough time to pick up my photographs and get back for Audrey's meeting. Okay. Who the hell does this Butcher think he is trying to blackmail me? This creep. I'm gonna find a way to get rid of this guy permanently. Way to talk to a pal who's trying to help keep you out of the slammer? Look, just skip the small talk there, slime ball. 
Hey, I'm getting tired of your mouth, Baldwin. Now you watch out or I'm gonna take your money and your teeth. All right, all right, that's better. Now, see, isn't it nice of doing business with friends? Wouldn't you agree? Get to the point. Ah, oh, you got the dough. Where do you want to meet? <laughs> Are we getting a little anxious, Scotty boy? All right, now you get you a pen, because I don't want you making any mistakes. Now, as I give you the following direction. Just spit it out, butcher. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. I just wanted to check and see if you needed anything. Oh, no, no, I'm fine, thanks. Everything's working okay? Oh, yes. The air conditioner all right? I mean, it's kind of hot outside. Oh, no, it's lovely. I'm very comfortable. Yeah, I, I was going to have the mechanic come up and check it out. You know, it came with the building, and it's kind of old, and it's going to need servicing soon, um, so... I, I don't think that's necessary. Well, it's not a problem, and I'd hate to have it uh, conk out on you and Duke, you know? Um, well, maybe some other time when neither of us are here. Yeah. Okay. Was your uh, meal all right last night? Oh, yes, delicious. Yeah, I was sorry for the delay. You know, we could have been a little more uh, efficient if we'd known you were coming back. No, no, we're just blaming on Manhattan traffic, I think. <laughs> okay. Look, uh, maybe next time I'll arrange for a limo to take you out to the airport. I think that would be better. Yes, that'd yeah. be nice. Okay. Thanks. Well, if you have no immediate no, needs... No, no, right. I'm fine. Right. Thank you. Oh, 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 one more thing. Uh, oh, uh, yes. uh, I'm going to be out the rest of the afternoon, and I just wanted to double-check to see if you might need anything if you should decide to stay over again. Mm. Oh, I'm not staying tonight. No, no, I'm no. going to go back to Fort Charles if I have to walk there. Okay. Well, look, uh, I'll see you and Duke in a few days, then. Yes. Okay. Thank you for all your help, Rodolfo. It's my pleasure. Oh, oh, Mrs. Labor, excuse yes. me. Just one more thing, and I won't bother you anymore. Okay. Uh, 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 do you have your keys to the apartment? Oh, I do, and they work Everything? perfectly. Okay, well, I'm just checking. Yeah, um, okay. thank you. Well, have a safe trip, and I'll see you soon. Okay. All right, Thanks very much. Bye. I still think it's pretty damn risky for you to keep showing up in Port Charles. And just to do the accounting for the redecoration. I told you before, Angel can handle that. Without my decorator's car for the discount, your costs go up 27%. Do I have to keep reminding you how much money that is on a job that's expensive? What kind of money can cover a lot of risk. Well, I still don't like it. My, but we're grumpy today, aren't we? Isn't it a little early for you to be coming into work anyway? I need to go in some extra hours. I've got some business to take care of, so I can spend more time with Anna when we get back to New York. Oh, so Anna's back in Port Charles? No, not yet. She's arriving back later this afternoon. Which reminds me, if I don't get on top of things here, I won't be able to spend this evening with her. Now, well, there's fresh coffee on the bar. Please help yourself. Thank you. Hey, you're running hot, sir. I've got the boots. You ran with boss. I sure didn't need him here when the call comes. I'll get some more coffee. 